All right, y'all, how's it going? Silent E, TCG here. We're back again with another deck profile on the OPO deck that we're currently been using. We are on Red Zoro, of course, uh, you know, still one of the best Red Leaders in the game. And, you know, he's always got something new to play with. So we're going to go ahead and show you all the build. Um, it is inspired from all the new animals and chopper support. So just a heads up there. But before we get into it, as always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the build. And if y'all also use the Zoro as well. Um, I, I particularly like Zoro here and there. Just depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> he's not my favorite character, but deck-wise, uh, game-wise, you know, he's just actually very cool. And aggro-ish, which is my favorite thing. You know, it's red too, so favorite color. But getting into it, we got... For Kareha, Searcher for your Chopper and Drum Island cards. Most, most some of the animals are Drum Island, so you got that. Whatever you need. Uh, for Nami, Searcher for your Straw Hat cards, since you're looking for Chopper and whatever else you might potentially need. Um, some people aren't using the one drops, but I, I like it sometimes. Um, but we're using Karu. There's plenty you can go with, but I decided to go with Mr. Straw, uh, you know. Honor, honorary member of the Straw Hat crew, <laughs> uh, Karu and uh, Vivi, of course. But you can you can use whatever um, the other animal from Wano if you feel like it or whatever or uh, the Sunny, you know, use Sunny. But other than that, uh, animal fits the same requirements. We're good. Makano helps pump up your one cost. So Nami, Kareha, Karu can be a little stronger. 2k counter, of course. Another uh, 2k counter is Brook. Um, he's just a 2k counter. Searchable by Nami. Next, we got Chopper, the new addition, of course. The reason why Zuro, as they call him, is now played. But able to rush the board, get some bodies out there. <clears throat> and on the following turn, you can just go over and go ham. So here, there's that. Uh, another Chopper from EBO1, the blocker. Make characters weaker and a potential blocker if you need to. <clears throat> you know, kill the board or just go face. The other chopper, um, <laughs> he plays out an animal that's what, 3k or less, so definitely can get the weaker animals out, such as the hiking bear, a 2k counter, and just able to pump up. If he, if he has a dawn when he attacks, able to pump up, or not, once return, not when he attacks, once return, pump up a character uh, other than himself by a thousand. So definitely does more, you know, increasing the board. If Zoro's already doing it too, hey, that's, that's going to be a hefty board for cheap costs. As well as Kid and Killer. Um, Rush usually is going to be Rush, of course, when you play him. Seven normally, but with Zoro, he's eight. So, you know, definitely can't. Nothing to scoff at there. Um, two is Luffy. Still the unblockable Luffy. Um, my favorite card, but... Definitely good to have people are blocking up, you know, make it so that they can't. And you're, you're attacking fight nine, so, you know, that's pretty good. Um, next, we got Dragon, uh, another 9k attacker, rusher, and able to give a character to the rest of Dawn, you know, or leader. Not bad either. Give Zero the Dawn he needs, or, you know, now you're attacking with 10. <clears throat> so, hey, we'll take that all day. Also, another card from EVO One, just shut up and come with us. Probably the best card in here. I kind of wish I had counter, but it makes sense. You bring out a body, so I guess I don't need it. But able to call an animal, look at the top five, place a uh, play an animal from them. So you got all your choppers, you got an animal you might need. What say you? And to round it off, since you are a straw hat leader and you got a lot of straw hat cards, we got two Diablo Jambe to make an um, unblockable attack. You know, I heard 14 unblockables pretty good. But uh, other than that, <clears throat> like I said, the deck's really good. One of the aggro decks you can use in this meta, aside from Kalgura, Blue Dofi, you know, things of that nature. So definitely, uh, you know, definitely here to stay. We'll have to see what we're looking at in the next meta and... You know, Star Deck season's coming. Well, it's already near. And then OPO 9 and beyond. So other than that, we'll see what we'll see what Mr. Zoro will have in store for us. 
But um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, Zero definitely, you know, definitely a good, uh, good deck, good strategy. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Zero. I know other people play him more than I do. But y'all, hey, y'all give it a try. Give him a try. Let me know what y'all think. And let me know what y'all's result, uh, results and, you know, ups and downs, you know, pros and cons. Other than that, y'all let me know. Uh, comment down below on that. Like the video, subscribe, share it around, and I hope to see y'all on the next one. Take care, have a good one, and be safe. Peace out.